freaking shinies! Everybody loves shinies. They love them so much they'll cheat all day long to get them. But that's a rant for another day. Did you know the term shiny was actually a fan creation based on the way the Pokemon sparkled when it appeared? It wasn't actually recognized by Game Freak until Generation 4, and wasn't used in-game until Generation 5, so there's your useless fact for the day. But for real, shiny Pokemon are awesome. Even though they're not any stronger and their stats aren't any different, they're just special, and that's why we love them. See? Dookie? Shiny Dookie! Scooter? Shiny Scooter! And today I'm gonna tell you my top 10 favorite shiny Pokemon, only one of which I actually own because I'm not a cheater cheater pumpkin bitch face. Oh, and just bear in mind I have the aesthetic sensibilities of a 7 year old, so expect a bunch of overpowered badass legendaries on this list. I know it's cliche, but deal with it. Number 10! Sand Slash is one of those hidden gems, I think. One of those diamonds in the rough, if you will. I don't see it getting a ton of praise, which is weird because just freaking look at it! His spikes turn red, and that's my favorite color, by the way. It's one of those rare cases where the designers actually got creative instead of just making him darker or lighter by a shade. I didn't even know shiny Sand Slash was cool until recently when I was literally looking for cool shinies, but now I really want one! Number nine! Umbreon is one of those cases where just the slightest change in color makes a whole world of difference. Keeping Umbreon black, but changing its rings from yellow to blue just makes it look so much more sleek. It looks like it should live on the grid and hang out with Jeff Bridges. If I ever get one, I'm definitely naming it Umbreon. Just kidding, that name sucks. Number eight. You know, Gyarados should be higher on this list because of just how freaking cool its shiny sprite is, and how much I like Gyarados as a Pokemon. But for some reason, the fact that everyone has one leaves it sitting at number 8. Does that make me a hipster? Probably. Hey, but shiny Gyarados does have a special place in my heart. My brother and I had some really great times playing Crystal Version, and we didn't really know that our red Gyarados wasn't all that rare. To us, it was the greatest thing that ever happened to the team. We didn't know it was called a shiny, we didn't know why it looked so different, all we knew that it was a freaking special Gyarados and it wrecked house on a daily basis. Number 7! Step 1. Make a cool dragon. Step 2. Make it black. Step 3. <laughs> Step 4. Friggin' awesome shiny! Like, no joke, just making a dragon black makes it cooler. Haxorus is already plenty awesome, but I see a black one and I just want to poop. He's one of those cool ones that totally changes when he reaches his third stage. Axew and Fracture don't even look close to how Haxorus looks shiny, so it's totally unexpected. Or it would be if everyone didn't already know that shiny Haxorus was really cool. This is the first of my, forgive me I'm seven years old on the inside favorites. There are more to come! Number six! Forgive me, I'm seven years old on the inside! Okay, for realsies, Genesect is a badass monster of a beastly killer bug thing. But hey, let's just make it Dookie's favorite color and it'll be even more badass! I swear, half the stuff on this list is red. Anyway, a shiny Genesect distribution has already begun in Japan for the Extreme Speed Genesect movie, and HOPEFULLY we'll get some of that action over here, but don't get your hopes up. You're killing us, Japan. Just because they make the games, they get all the cool stuff? How is that fair? Number 5! Ampharos. Pink. Yeah, that's right. I like shiny Ampharos better than all the stuff I just listed. I don't even really care for the color pink, but I feel like it just suits Ampharos so well. It probably has a lot to do with how it shares regular Flaffy's color scheme. I really like it when they do that with shinies, like when they use a color scheme of a prevolution, kind of like how shiny Flareon just looks like a big poofy Eevee. Anyway, this is the second top 10 list of mine that Ampharos appears on, the other being my top 10 favorites. Not just any Pokemon can pull off pink, but Ampharos does it better than all of them. All of them but one. But we'll get to that soon enough. Number four! Yep, another black dragon. Honestly, I don't even feel like I need to explain this one. Shiny Rayquaza is just so undeniably badass I almost didn't believe it when I saw it the first time. Like, really? They took an already amazingly sick looking dragon and made it black and gold? That's not the greatest thing ever or anything. Actually, it's not because there are three more I like better. There was a Shiny Rayquaza distribution, but it was only given out in guess where? It's like, no wonder people cheat. 
Number three. Here it is, the pink shiny to end all pink shinies. I really like Weevil as it is. It falls just below my top 10, and even then I sometimes feel like I sold it short by not putting it on that list. But man, freaking shiny Weevil is amazing. Weevil is one of those rare Pokemon I automatically assume is a girl instead of a boy, even though the gender ratio is 50-50. But Weevil is a fairly neutral color normally, making the male option pretty believable. But when I saw shiny Weevil, I was like, damn, who's a pretty lady? You have a spot on my team any day of the week. I feel like the pink just flaunts how badass Weevil is. Yeah, being dark blue is cool and all when you're a sneaky little dark type, but being pink just shows off how few fucks this thing gives. You'll see it coming, sure, but you're still gonna die. God, I want one. Number two! Shiny Ho-Oh is just stunning. It's radiant. It's iridescent. It's just freaking better than other Pokemon. Ho-Oh is supposed to be a rainbow bird, even though it's only a few colors, and Shiny Ho-Oh is even less colorful than regular Ho-Oh, but I think it looks more like a fire type with all that yellow and orange. And the white highlights just make it look so pure, like its flames will burn away all the evil in the world, like neo-Nazis and people that use Pokegen. No offense if you use Pokegen, I don't really want you to burn to death. They did an amazing job with Ho-Oh's shiny form, but there's still one that I think beats them all. Number one! Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the shiny to end all shinies. They pulled out all the stops, they called in the art director from the College of Badasses and said, TAKE THIS AWESOME METAL BEAST AND CHANGE ITS COLORS SO IT'S MORE AWESOME! And the art director said, Wee oui, wee, oui, motherfuckers. He's from Kalos. I'm being totally serious fully for real here. Metagross looks great blue with the chrome X on its face, but making its whole body metallic and making the X gold... GOLD?! It's just out of control. It's too good for its trainer, it's too good for its Pokeball, and you can be damn sure it's too good for some skank-ass ditto. If I ever see a shiny Metagross, I will kindly lay down and ask it to catch and train me. The end. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know what your favorite shiny Pokemon are in the comments section, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, or I will without a doubt hunt you down and make a mean face at you or something. Hey, ever wonder what would happen if I played games with another psychotic YouTuber? Click on the video clip to see an episode of Nate and Dookie, and be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter. Bye bye so how about that trailer that came out with Fennec and, Fennec and punching something? Yeah, I don't, because like, people... <laughs> dude, people are flipping their shits oh, about. Oh, of course they are. It's like, we used to punch! It's fighting! Unsubscribe! <laughs> Unsubscribe. That's always the reaction. <laughs> That's the Unsubscribe. internet's essential reaction. I don't want you anymore. You're like, you're like watching it on TV. <laughs> Unsubscribe! The new season of Two and a Half Men sucks. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. <laughs>